Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Wando Tales. In today's episode, we're going to go over how we created our recirculating shower, the pros and cons, and what we would do differently if we could. So let's get started. Let's do it. So in our tour video, a lot of you guys have been recommending if we could do a full extensive video on how we did our recirculating shower. So that's what we're doing today. Right here is where our shower is. It doesn't look like it, but this actually flips up and we're able to transform this into a little 360 nook where we shower. The other benefit of this hidden space is that we created a recirculating shower with five gallons. So the way we did that was by using three different filters to have the water go through. So first we have the five gallon water tank under the van. We connected that to the water pump and that pushes the water into the van from the bottom. Next, it goes through our strainer. The strainer is an ice spring 50 micron strainer. So that means it will take away sediment and big pieces of debris that are coming through your water system, which really for a shower helps for like hair, for example. Then it's going to go through a KDF filter. We used a KDF filter because we wanted to find a singular filter that was still good enough for drinking water. Because we figured if it would filter water to a drinking capability, then it would be good enough for a shower. The final step, and I think this is how you can recirculate water, is by using the UV filter. Because a UV filter will take away a lot of bacteria and will get down to 0.01 micron. Whereas the KDF filter only goes down to 5 micron. So this is when the UV filter is really essential for this process. If you are going to take more frequent showers, I would recommend getting the bigger UV filter. But we already decided that we weren't going to take that many showers, we just wanted it as a safeguard. So we got the smaller UV filter. And that also helps for our space because it keeps everything nice and compact. So that's literally how we do it. Let's go over the pros and cons and what we would do differently. There are some really big pros to having a shower in your van. Um, the first is you can shower whenever you want, basically. As long as you have five gallons of water, um, you can basically shower wherever and whenever you want. So another huge advantage um, is how compact our filtration system is. It's literally right below me right now and it takes up one foot by two feet of space. The third and probably the biggest pro for me is how long of a shower you can take. I can literally take a 30 minute shower if I want and there's no problem. As long as you have enough power, which this doesn't pull that much power anyways, you can stand out of the shower and sing and do whatever you want. So a lot of people have been asking how the filtration system handles soap and we've noticed that since we've switched to natural soap the clarity of the water um, lasts much longer. Um, so that may be a pro or a con for you. We've just switched over to uh, all natural shampoo, soap, face wash, the whole works basically. Now the cons. So there's always gonna be cons in any situation. And for our shower in particular, the biggest con is we don't really know how to purge the system. Um, we've cleaned it and we do keep it clean, but there's always gonna be areas that we can't reach. And we knew this going into it. So we both discussed it and we figured any shower is better than no shower when you're on the road. So just the fact that we're able to shower in general is huge. So as for cleaning the system, we clean it about once a month and we really only use the shower once a week. So it doesn't get that dirty, um, but we do clean the filters and clean the lines once a month. So we have yet to have to change any of the filters, um, but the strainer will probably last 12 to 24 months at the rate we're going and the KDF and the UV will probably last six to 12 months. So we'll probably change that when we come back from our trip. Alrighty, so now let's go over some of the things that we would change if we could. Um, some of the things that we were going over when we were trying to figure out the SketchUp plan was how do we get it from a fresh water tank first? And that just took way too much <laughs> plumbing expertise, I think, for us. So we just like skipped that process. 
But if we could do it differently or if we had a plumber friend or anything, we would definitely have the water come from the fresh water tank first. Right. That way you get the, your first rinse with fresh water and then that drains. Then you start the recirculating process. Then you drain that and pull from the fresh for your last rinse. That way your last rinse is the cleanest. Clean water, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I that's the only thing that I would think that I would change is trying to figure out how to get the fresh water tank mm -hmm. um, involved somehow. And we did have that kind of sketched out, but it just seemed like different valves and all of that and just a little bit beyond our expertise. Another thing is it would be awesome to maybe upgrade to stainless tubing yeah. one day. Because um, I just feel like it's more um, hygienic, mm -hmm. if you will. But that's kind of hard when your van is going through potholes in Mexico. And you Why do you always come from Mexico? You don't know if it's going <laughs> to break your system. So far, our system has held up. Yeah. Which I am very surprised. Like the tank on the bottom, Yeah. we did such a good job yes, of high five. strapping it down. Like mm -hmm. this van has been through some stuff. <laughs> and it is... I look at it every now and then and I just smile because it is <laughs> hanging on for dear life. Not hanging on for dear life. It's still solid yeah. underneath there. The thing with the five gallon and I would recommend, um, wouldn't recommend going any smaller or bigger is mm. going smaller. We've noticed that when we, whenever we have only three gallons, it's very hard for the system to go fast enough right. um, filtering. So we definitely always need five gallons. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is if you go bigger than five gallons, you run the risk of your tank being much lower than the side of your van. True. And then whenever you're going over hills and all that stuff, that's just something you have to consider. Whereas now it's pretty much flush. And so as long as the bottom of our van isn't scraping on something, we know our tank is okay too. And we have scraped stuff before. Yeah. <laughs> no issues, like really no issues. Uh -huh. At first to drain our water, we had a spout. Oh yeah. We had a spout so that when we were done with the water, we just, um, you know, open the spout yeah. and it would drain the water, but that stuck down too far. So we eventually had to switch to just like a, a, plug. a screw in plug. Mm -hmm. And so it's flush now and we've had no issues with that. Sometimes yeah. it's kind of hard to unscrew it, but mm -hmm. with a pair of pliers, it's no big deal. That is another thing that we would change maybe is have a manual valve. Ooh, a manual yeah. valve. Who wants to help us with all of this? I know, right? <laughs> another thing that we don't have is we don't have a heater. So that's another thing. Having it go through a heater is definitely um, more time consuming, I think, and something you have to consider for the recirculating process. And I know some people have done that before, and so that's definitely something you should look into if you want um, heated water. Mm -hmm. But we're in a lot of warmer climates, and when it's the winter, we'll probably shower at the gym and not the yeah. van. So that's our shower. We hope you learned something. We hope you took something from that, and you can run with it with your own system. I know a lot of people have been working on this, and it's definitely an interesting thing because mm -hmm. you can't 100% get purified water from recirculating after you're taking dirt off of yourself. And so that's why there are bigger companies working on this to hopefully try to incorporate this into all homes around the world. Right. Um, but for now, we are enjoying this little system in our van on wheels. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Honestly, to think about what we created. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine when you have a baby. I know, right? <laughs> are you going to get so sentimental uh, no, over here? No, no, no. So yeah, that concludes our shower tour. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys learned something and hopefully leave some great comments down below about what we could do better, what other people can do for their van build, and hopefully we just all become a great community down in the comment section. Yeah, hit us up if you're a plumber. We'd love your advice. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Wando Tales. Bye guys. Bye. See ya. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wando Tales. Literally <laughs> Hi guys, don't leave a look at her. <laughs> I wanna do that actually. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Wando Tales.